Sandland, the land of sand. Non, rien de rien. Non, je ne regrette rien. Et voilà, mesdames et messieurs, le grand chanteur, monsieur Christophe. Non, euh, Edith Piaf. Je ne regrette rien. I don't regret anything. Oh yes. Salute to her and salute to yourselves over there. Um, God bless her memory. I visited her grave then in uh, the Père Lachaise in France, in Paris. Uh, actually, I think twice even. And, uh, you know, the great French singer Edith Piaf, okay? Look her up if you don't know who I'm talking about. Shame on you. Um, why do I mention Edith Piaf? It, it doesn't really have any direct connection, connection to the fragrance I'm going to be uh, introducing to you yet. Uh, she is as much of an icon um, of France as, as this brand and what the brand actually represents, okay? Fasonable, Fasonable, uh, the brand that came along and sort of became the epidome of the Côte d'Azur, the, the French uh, Riviera, okay, the, the, the well-dressed people and especially uh, the film festival of the city Cannes, okay, the Cannes Film Festival. And uh, in, the, in the 50s and the early 60s, um, you know, Fasonable was starting to get very well known among the celebrities in Cannes, the, you know, the high society, and especially the actors. So the actors started to wear Fasonable clothes, okay. So that's where the brand is actually um, originating from, okay, and it be really became the, 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 really, as I say, the epidome, the, 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 the manifestation of the great Côte d'Azur, the chic of the Côte d'Azur, and uh, they started, they've been taken over Nordstrom and then some, some Lebanese company, anyway, Fasonable is still Fasonable, and uh, they've, they've started, the fragrance came fairly late, I think around 2004, uh, if I'm not mistaken, but correct me if I'm wrong. And uh, this fragrance here, which is, which, which is Fasonable Stripe, came about in 2005. And the theme about this fragrance is the stripes, the stripes, a shirt that is striped, a, a jacket, a nice jacket that is, you know, has stripes. And obviously stripes meaning here um, some sort of elegance, chic, okay? Um, that is very much what the fragrance name is supposed to embody, you know, so it gives itself, you have to dress up for this fragrance, okay? And you have to enjoy the Mediterranean uh, uh, joie de vivre, you know, the, the, the lifestyle of uh, the high society, uh, at least that what's, uh, that's what this fragrance is supposed to be evoking in my interpretation, but the name, again, it says it all, Stripe, it refers to this. Hence my outfit today, okay? And this is the bottle. Stripe. Now, now I'm going to commit a crime. I'm going to spray a fragrance while I'm drinking wine, but it's all for you. It's all just for you, you know? It's, uh, it's I think, a 30 mil. Small little bottle there. Very nice. You can see the stripes are very much present on the bottle itself, okay? So how does it smell? It smells elegant, fresh, minty. It's minty at the beginning. It's minty. It's, you know, mint, if well done, it has some, some um, kind of chic to it. If it's not well done, it's getting problematic. This mint here is very well done. And there's some immediate fresh spiciness coming in there. I think there's definitely uh, uh, nutmeg in here. And also a woody aspect that is fairly clear, and and it's it, it's really the, the it's a bit um, if you mention if you think about the color it's 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 sort of a 
you know, um, it's difficult to describe this one. Because the mint is going well with, I think there's some, there's a sweetness in here, I think. It's, it's cinnamon, if I'm not mistaken, but it's not overly sweet. It's not vanilla, it's not tonka bean. Some sort of cinnamon scenario going on. And to me, it's not like, but probably some cardamom or something in here as well, because they, I feel an interplay of several fresh um, characteristic spices, okay? And, and in the dry down, some clear woods, it's sand, cedar wood or sandal wood. Not exactly sure on that one. Um, probably even a floral aspect in here. Um, but it, it comes together in fairly quickly as a very, very nice blend, a nice composition, okay? Always easy going, always elegant, um, always fresh and uplifting. It's like, again, if I have to think, it's definitely a bright color, almost like my jacket, I would really say. Uh, this uh, this, this um, white and, and, and blue type of scenario really fits it, although it's not an aquatic, okay? But it still has this, the nutmeg is really sexy in here. I have to say, the nutmeg with the mint, hmm, it's, it's not always, uh, it's not very common that you see this sort of combination going on here and the cinnamon as well which i think is fairly well detectable here so it, it it's elegant it's definitely a dress off fragrance that, I, that you have to uh, it's not a clubbing fragrance i think it's 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 a daytime dress off fragrance for for some nice occasions uh, if you visit your mother-in-law let me tell you this if you visit your mother-in-law and you wear this fragrance an absolute and utter success is what you what you will experience okay and so, so that's what I'm going to wear next time. No, but again, this is a not talk review, okay? This is like a nice family gathering that is probably paired up with some, with some fancy barbecue. So you don't have any heavy smoke and, and you know, probably a barbecue type of, or a picnic type of scenario where, you, where the food is being brought there, okay, it's not being made there. Um, there's, there's even some green aspects here, but I think it's the mint that I'm, that I'm very much still, it's going, it's prominent, but it's not pushy, I don't like pushy mint, except for Lacoste Booster. Um, it's, it's, it's great, it's green, refreshing, chic um performance wise it's 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 an order toilet performance that's what i would say fasonable stripe but it's really in it, it it puts you in a good mood it smells like a like a nice fizzy summer drink with with some mint leaves and, and some sort of fresh aromatic aspects i'm not i'm not a i'm not a cocktail creator or make i, I love to drink good cocktails but but this is a type of fragrance that smells like a cocktail that you would love to drink in the summer. Put it that way, okay? This is how it smells. And it smells like, you tell me something, uh, I'll tell you something. It smells like a venue where you were invited, casual, elegance is present, and some nice dressed ladies around, or guys, okay? And depending on your preferences. But something not overdone, okay? It's not a... It's not a, a black tie type of scenario. It's just, it's, it's a daytime chic that we're talking about. Maybe in Cannes, before the uh, evening screening starts, okay, of the movie. Maybe today we're going to see Il Gatto Pardo. Look it up, look it up. Alain Delon, okay, Il Gatto Pardo, force, uh, force. <laughs> Maybe we're going to see that. I think, um, who else was playing in there? Il Gatto Pardo, I think Burt Lancaster was playing in there, and um, what's her name, not Gina Lollobrigida, but uh, Claudia Cardinale, Claudia Cardinale, I think that's, that's what I'm um, associating this somehow, yeah, it's, it's somehow early 60s type of scenario, hmm, this is also great, interesting, and, and good in, in such ad hoc review, uh, reviews, that I don't think... Uh, in advance what I'm going to tell you I'm just going to let the spirit fly and, and the inspiration fly of, of what this fragrance is reminding me of I, I warned this but I warned this way back and I received this now from a friend of mine and I went through it for a few days 
and this is this is the thing that I get. It it has a touch of uh, of this type of scenario, and it has a touch, uh, a slight uh, feeling of the mid '90s fresh fragrances, all around the time when uh, CK1 was coming out. Um, there were a few fragrances that had this um, kind of f f f um, kind of um, floating or fleeting kind of ease about them. Okay, it's fresh, and nice, genderless. This one is absolutely genderless. Anybody can wear it. Okay, and it starts to remind me of something else. It has an edge to it. It has it has the spiciness becomes becomes prominent as the as the mint takes a back seat and the spices go on. Very nice. Uh, try it. You know, try it. Uh, it it's good. Uh, any age, any gender, uh, daytime, casual, chic. Yeah, that's 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 the way love goes. Okay. Rien, je ne rien. And maybe yeah, Eddie Piaf is playing uh, on an occasion like this. You know, st some nostalgic moments at the French Riviera with uh, Edith Piaf, a nice wine, uh, Chateau Palmer, huh? it's not a Chateau Palmer anyway, and a fashionable uh, stripe. Why not? Why not? <laughs>